Hello. This tutorial will help you configure an RFID badge to authenticate on a Windows workstation. Two modes are available for RFID with Enterprise Access Management Solution, either RFID and password and RFID and PIN. In order to ease user access with the contactless badge, the user can use an RFID and PIN authentication method. In this tutorial, we will focus on RFID and PIN configuration. So first, you need to configure the token management by editing the token manager structure file. The file is in XML. Open your EAM console and go to File and then click on the Configuration menu. On the open window, select the Authentication tab and browse the content to find the following token class. The token class ID should be RFID PCSC. In this section, make sure that the use pin is configured to yes. If you need additional information on Token Manager, please refer to the Presentation of Token Manager Structure video. Now back to the EAM console. In the Smart Card menu, you can configure your different types of smart cards. Choose the RFID PCSC if you are using an RFID badge. Since the RFID badge is coupled with a PIN, the configuration of the PIN must be done through the Smart Card menu. The menu allows you to define the length of your PIN, as well as the authorized characters of the set you have chosen. The Personalization tab allows you to define a default PIN for all card users, as well as the number of attempts a user has to enter his PIN before the badge is blocked. Moreover, you can determine for how long the badge is valid. The Global tab helps you define when the PIN should be renewed. In the Access Point Security Profile link to your workstation, select the Security Services tab and authorize RFID PCSC authentication method. You must also allow this authentication method for your users. Select the User Security Profile link to your user and in the Authentication tab, check that the RFID PCSC is allowed. Update the workstation on which you will authenticate using an RFID badge. Now that the authentication method is allowed, I need to assign my badge to the target user. So the user taps the badge on an RFID reader thanks to the authentication manager module. This window appears when the badge has no user enrolled to it. Users provide its Windows ID and password and define a PIN for the corresponding badge. the user can lock his session by tapping his badge again. If the same user wishes to open his session once again, a PIN will be required to authenticate. You can also check that the user has been well enrolled through the administrator console. If you go to the RFID window, you will have the lists of active RFID badges. As you can see, our user has been properly enrolled in the solution.